Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and I'm looking at Dota 2 again. Uh, this is specifically about the Dire Tide mode that Valve created for Halloween. It's a custom mode, they've modified the map, even some of the UI. You can see that there's blood on the rocks, for example, in the lower left next to my hero portrait. And they've changed the entire theme of the map. You've got all new creep waves, and uh, there's now Easter, or not Easter, there's now uh, Halloween treat baskets at the Ancients location on both sides of the map. And it's kind of like almost a uh, capture type mode, I guess is the best way to explain it. And what players are doing in this mode is they're all fighting for this Grievel candy in the first mode at least. And each team needs to collect Grievel candy, then place it into their basket in order to increase the, the amount of candy that they have. You can see down near the uh, bottom portion of the screen in the center that uh, there's uh, two numbers, one on the left, one on the, the right, and that's what actually is representing the number of candies that each team has. So players can get candy from being near uh, drops when the uh, mini Roshans come. They're replacing like the catapults essentially that you would see in the normal Dota 2 game mode. And as long as a player is nearby when the large baby Roshan dies, it will drop two Grievel candies. The other way to uh, get candy is to just steal it from the enemy team. And then finally you can get candies from jungling and th at least in phase two, you can't do it in phase one, but once phase two starts, when Roshan starts coming to players trying to get candy from them, you can start jungling and getting candies that way too. So it's a pretty interesting uh, game mode that um, I think players really are enjoying right now, mainly because it, there's so many items in it for players. Whoever wins phase two uh, gets an item for sure. So whoever has the most candies, when the timer runs out, gets an item, so that goes to five players, and the items are random, but they can be uh, pretty much anything up to mythical level. I've seen couriers drop, and there's also new essence types, we'll go over that in a little bit, but it's a, it's a freebie item right off the bat. You don't have to, you know, increase your battle level or anything like that. And then phase three begins, and this is where Roshan goes to either the jungle location of the Dire or of the Radiant. And then you have to kill him. Now here's a catch. He's got a ton of hit points. But when he finally goes down, it doesn't matter who kills him, both teams get a, an item. So if you win both phases, phase 2 and phase 3, you can have two items out of it. Plus, the first time you play this mode, you can also get a free Grievel egg. Well, not almost. You definitely will. So new players who try this for the first time get this egg. And then you can also get chests. The chests are just like any other chests. You can use these new dire tide keys to unlock items, and it could potentially have an unusual inside of them, which could also be an unusual baby Roshan. It really depends on your luck. There's also standard Roshans inside, but the dire tide effect itself is kind of cool. It, it leaves webbing and also emits spiders around the courier, and there's also a green orb that rotates around it. There are also now eggs and essences, as I mentioned before, and these essences are used to color the eggs. It's almost like Easter, uh, but you're doing this during a Halloween promotion, and what goes into them determines the end color. So there's a number of different combinations. Players can also create shadow and blessed versions of these eggs. Shadow requires a shadow essence, which is extremely rare, and the blessed ones require three of each color to create white. Now, no one knows for sure exactly what's going to be coming out of the eggs just yet, but there are rumors circulating that Valve's just about to release companions in-game. And right now, some people are saying it's going to be a courier, but others are saying it's going to be the very first companion in the game, which are much like pets in World of Warcraft. Now, for those who are hunting couriers, as mentioned, you can get the Dire Tide couriers. There's also Baby Roshan. And then, to top it off, Valve is offering a golden Baby Roshan to teams that complete... Or dis well, not complete, but destroy Roshan in the quickest time possible in Phase 3. This has a lot of teams in a frenzy, including pro teams, and the surprising thing most of all is that these teams are using any exploit or bug or whatever else that they can find in the game to lock down that golden courier. This has involved things like exploiting the matchmaking system, where you can get two teams of five to match, where it's essentially then a ten-man, and everything's coordinated. Teams then started using other tricks and exploits, such as the Pudge Flesh Heap trick. What they would do to accomplish this is they would freeze the timer. They figured out that if both teams had a tie when it came to candy at the end of the timer, then the game would go on indefinitely and Phase 3 would never start. 
And then they also figured out that if they put a player that was targeted by Roshan in Phase 2 on a cliff, then he would never be able to attack them and it would essentially freeze him up as well. So this created some games that were as long as seven hours, where by the end of it, Pudge could essentially one-hit Roshan. And people were killing him in less than a second. That's how bad things got. After that was patched, players started using more conventional exploits, but they still continued to bypass the five-man queue system by creating ten-man queues. And then they would intentionally share candies with each other until they could get to a point when they could get all the items they needed to combo down Roshan again in a very short time. Not quite as fast as before, but as you can see in this video clip with a combination of items, they were able to nuke down Roshan where he literally died within about 11-12 seconds. So the unfortunate reality is, at least with the way things are right now, most players aren't going to be able to get a golden baby Roshan. The pro teams have completely taken it over, they've bypassed the five-man queue, they're finding ways to match as ten, and then they're coordinating, they're completely bypassing any sort of combat with each other, they're just exchanging candies and, and whatever else, but the good news is, is that players can still access all the free items, they can still get their eggs, they can get their essences, and maybe get something cool out of it for free. But, uh, you know, again, it is kind of unfortunate that regular players cannot get access to the Golden Baby Roshans. Anyways, guys, this has been the Dire Tide mode for Dota 2. And you can go ahead and try it out right now. It's running till at least November 12th, from what I understand. That's when everything expires from the chest to the essences, whatever else. So, um, also, since you've watched this video all the way through, if this game interests you or you know somebody who wants a copy, I'm going to be pasting some codes in the description of this video that will give you access to Dota 2 and also give you some gift invites as well that you can share. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be pacing them again at random and I should have at least five for you guys. So again, watch that description and try to get access to that code first. Aside from that, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. As always guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. I always appreciate when you guys do that and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.